Hey there, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am turning my parents' kind of cluttered little cabinet into an organized functional space. So I hope you guys enjoy. If you are new here, my name is Emily. I would like to welcome you to my little motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. I have been meaning to help my parents out and reorganize this little cabinet. I have some of my kitchen supplies here because we are transitioning between homes and jobs, so it's a little bit more cluttered than normal. And so I just figured I would do my part in tidying up. And the first thing I did was empty out the entire cabinet and really try to categorize what we had and what we could get rid of or what we could move or put somewhere else. And then it was time to give these shelves a good wipe down. I used a Dollar Tree like magic eraser and really tried to clean it up a bit before reorganizing and putting stuff back. Don't forget to get the doors and the little hinge areas. These also get really dirty and I think sometimes we forget about them when we do our deep cleans. I also decided to tackle the little cabinet above the main cabinet. This is where we keep a lot of the stuff that we don't use as often, like birthday decorations for cakes and whatnot, as well as some of my additional kitchen items. So I made sure to tackle this as well. After organizing some of our measuring spoons and measuring cups, I went ahead and washed some of these Dollar Tree little like candy containers, which I love, and uh, along with some other containers that my mom had. And then it was time to kind of start finding a space for everything. I moved some of the dried fruit that we had in this cupboard to a place in the pantry that worked, and then kind of tried to visualize how I was going to organize this little cabinet. I decided to use one of these Dollar Tree little organizing bins to store all of my specific baking items so that when we do move it will be a little bit easier and I know that that space in the cabinet will eventually be free. Then it was time to fill up the candy. This part is just so satisfying to me. And once I was done with this, I bagged up the leftovers because it was going to be a space saver that way rather than keeping these large like plastic containers around so i bagged them up and put them in their separate like overflow bin i find it hard to commit but you don't even try still i'm better with them without you I also decided to use this little glass writing pen from the Dollar Tree to go ahead and label the lids of the glass jars. It does erase, it kind of smudges a little bit, but with the magic eraser it comes off just fine and you can rename them or relabel them if you decide to change out your candies.
Whatever it is, I keep on trying. Cause it ain't hard to forgive. When you know what it's like. That's why I'm better with than without you. In this little overhead hanging shelf thing, I decided just to put the two items that have plugs just to kind of separate them out. And then underneath, I was going to organize the utensils that go with them, the little mixers or the whisk uh, or the little like emulsifier thing. Um, that way it was just a little bit more organized and categorized rather than throwing it like all in a big bin. And then here again, we're putting the measuring cups and measuring spoons. We had previously used one of these smaller baskets that's next to this one uh, to hold all of them, but it became a catch-all for like a bunch of other tools. So I figured let's reduce the space and make it very apparent that like this is where they go so that when we're putting dishes away, we don't get confused and make it more cluttered. Anyways, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I hope you found this video inspiring and motivating i know that for me like i feel like i function a lot better when the house is clean and so that was what i was going for here there are some extra additional clutter like this baking soda and baking powder that's mine and will be coming with me when i move so that will kind of clear up the space a little bit better as well as this basket full of my stuff that I showed you, my cake decorating supplies and my glass bowls, those will be leaving as well. So that will leave a lot of empty space for my parents to, you know, either keep that way and keep it extra simple, or if they have any more additional things they want to put in that space, they can do that. But I'd like to thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.